Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of Parsing and Producing JSON in Groovy. In earlier episode, we saw Groovy's love for a JSON, how Groovy supports JSON natively and how it is easy to convert the Groovy objects to the JSON. All these things handled through the Groovy uh, using different classes like a Slurper and Builder and other classes which is present into the Groovy.json package and we see in the extensive example open slurper where we uh, parses the text from file normal text and text from an internet and convert into the required object so in today's video we're going to focus on the json builder so json builder is nothing but an essentially in way uh, to create a json payloads into the groovy and this is like very useful especially you know in api within jmeter and soap and catalon where you know we need to create and manipulate the json payload on the fly and these are like very very frequent problem we face when we use those tools to manipulate the json using a groovy so we may have to create a json on the fly we may have to edit json you know add some values add some keys edit some values or delete some keys from the JSON. So that is the agenda for this video. We will try to manipulate the JSON using a JSON builder or JSON slurper and uh, try to answer all these four questions that we have just talked about. So with the, so let me bring up my Groovy console up. So as a first thing I'll bring, I'll import this classes that we just talked about groovy.json star so let's take an example that we need to make an, some kind of a json right so so let's think about some object address very common one right suppose we wanted to make an address what would be the address it would have like a street name uh, then it will have like building then it will have like city and then it will have like pin right so these, these are like a four attribute an object would have and then it would be in string similar this would be in a string string and this would be an integer right this would be an integer so so this is how it would the typical object would look like for you know uh, address generally speaking and let's try to make this uh, now as an object on the fly so let's create a json as this using a json builder so, so let me define an address as an object using new and json builder so there are multiple ways i can use json builder i can just provide these as a parameter to this class and you know so let me give some values so we can see the output in the end a uh, high street and I am not gonna put on everything right away I'll just give an example and then and then that should give some idea and then I'll just put in the pin or zip yeah pin should be fine right yeah pin and this suppose okay i have given this and now i'll try to just print this address and see how does it would look like so print ln address so so let's take an example you know okay so here is our first program we have created json on the fly using a json builder so you know very simple define the object and you know use this json builder as an object and then pass parameters uh, in the bracket and you can provide n number of parameters as it is in builder pro builder pattern in you know you if you know about the design pattern it's in builder pattern and it would accept those many patterns and create a json for you and this is the what the output look like so this is basically output page that you are seeing here so so this json builder class also provide another method for this object to pretty string so let me print this json little bit properly so let me 
okay and you could see you know because this is a number it would don't have it into double numerator commas but uh, apart from this look like it's been proper json right so intentionally i have not put in city as an uh, one of the attributes that we talked about when we defined this payload now there would be in cases like you know you have to add keys to the existing json that we talked about right there is a, this content and you wanted to add something to this so how how we can add this right so so we need to find that out so so let's try you know how, how we can do that in groovy uh, so we have this address object so if i am not wrong we also get contained as a way to append an object so content city and let me put the city as in pune and let me try to print it one more time and you can see now the new key has appended so earlier we saw how we can create new json from the scratch over here and here with content content way you know using a content as an attribute we saw like very simply this is the object that we have created we have used this content content attribute and this is the new key that we were interested in fiti that we we talked about at which we have not used earlier and i have also given some value to it pune and if you see here when we have printed that without you know adding the value you don't see the uh, you know city as an attribute but in the later json you would see city as an attribute so here you go you have able to create a json you are able to add the json and it's very easy to even edit the json very similar right so so if suppose you know that you know the the high street is something the pin code doesn't looks like in proper Let, let's change a pin code so how would you do that mm -hmm. so pin okay and if i print this one more time after cleaning this up you would see that earlier value of a pin was 44000 and then after we are updating it to this correct value of a pin and this is how you would you know update the values of a particular keys that you interested in the existing json okay so we have seen creating json on the fly you know you we have seen the two pretesting method of an object we also saw the content attribute which can help us to update or add keys and values to the existing this and now that only remaining part that we talked earlier from like deleting some keys and values from a json so we can't just delete any keys values using a json builder so that so we have to use a json parser for that so ideally if i wouldn't have put it in asterisk mark here i would have to import two different classes json builder and json plus but, but i have used this asterisk so i can just you know uh, i can just try to see uh, updated address i am creating a new object or i i can just call it in slurper mm, and this new json slurper and let me parse this text uh, and i am going to parse this particular text and now we have slurper and we wanted to remove let's say we don't want building name we just need to provide a three thing for example what we can do we can call it as a slurper mm, and okay remove and we don't want building name so so let me give as an building as an parameter over here so unable to resolve class json slur for parse text okay is there some typo that i am doing here so let me check an example very properly 
जेसन पार्सर पार्स टेक्स्ट पार्स टेक्स्ट लुक्स प्रॉपर जेसन स्लर्पर ओके दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड आई हैव टू कॉल दिस ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट देन इट वुड वर्क सो या लुक एट दिस दिस इज वॉट द नेम ऑफ द बिल्डिंग वॉज राइट दैट वी वेर रिमूविंग रिजल्ट बट वी स्टिल नो वॉट स्लर्पर वैल्यूज इज राइट सो स्लर्पर इज लाइक वॉट एवर वी हैव फ्रॉम दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी आर रिमूविंग दिस सो इसेंशियली स्ट्रीट पीन एंड सिटी शुड रिमेन बट दिस इज नॉट इन द जेसन फॉर्मेट नाउ इट्स इन एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर्मेट इन ग्रूवी ग्रूवी ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर्मेट इन स्लर्पर सो वी हैव टू अगेन कन्वर्ट इट टू दू नो जेसन सो वॉट आई टू आई Uh, I'll just use a JSON builder again, and because we have used address earlier, we don't have to call it out like that. And then I'll just try to pretty print it. I am expecting that it would only show street, pit, and city, and not the building because we are trying to get it rid of it. And here you go, right? So here you don't see. know the this this value we have deleted from this json so that's it folk we have created new json added attribute updated attribute and removed an attribute from the json on the fly in the groovy using groovy.json package for deleting we have used slurper for for other activities we have used the builder so that's it for today thank you for watching have a great day bye bye